Cajun country, the heart of Louisiana. Here, the French Acadians, driven from their homes in Nova Scotia, cling to their ancient customs. Now, 20 years after the American purchase of this land and 20 miles into the wilderness, it is still French, and it looks as though it will remain French forever. For Americans are looked upon with suspicion and enter Cajun country at their own peril. Come out, monsieur. Careless shooting, mister. You could have spoiled a good pelt. The only pelt I would spoil, monsieur, would be yours. Drop them. Why aren't they for sale? You're not a Western company, man. No, I'm nobody's man. I'm Jim Bowie from Opelousas. Howdy. And you come to Cajun country to buy furs? Why not? It's good fur country. I do not sell to outsiders, monsieur. Not even if I pay you top prices? In gold? Save you a little trip. You won't have to go to the rendezvous. I sell only to the Western Company, monsieur. You go to rendezvous yourself, perhaps you can buy furs, but not from me. Now drop them. Howdy. I'm an Asian boy. I'd like to make you an offer on your furs. Everywhere in the Cajun country, it was the same. The trappers refused to deal with anyone but the Western Company. Why? Bowie was determined to trade in furs, so he went for an answer to the spiritual leader of these simple folk, the parish priest. You are wasting your time, Monsieur Bowie. You will have to do business with Georges Legon of the Western Company. But why? Sit down. They have a job. Granted by the King of France a hundred years ago. Well, this is 1829. Louisiana isn't under the rule of any French king. It's America. That charter isn't worth a piece of paper it's written on. The Western Company claim exclusive right to all furs taken in this wilderness. Oh, it's wrong, Father. It's wrong. Trappers can sell their furs to whoever they want, to whoever gives them the best price. I have told them so. This uh, rendezvous, it's an open market? Uh, I mean, the trappers go there to sell their furs to the highest bidder, don't they? Yes. Uh, I'll be at the rendezvous myself with a sack full of gold. I do not think that would be wise, monsieur. Wise or unwise, father? I'm going in the fur business. It's time the Western Company had a little competition. Yes, but... Thank you, father. Goodbye. Goodbye, my son. For business. Here's my sign. These are my prices. And I'm paying gold. A ten dollar bonus to the first one of you who sells. And I'll better any offer you can get elsewhere. Prime pelts or not. What's the matter? You don't speak English? Vous avez uh, des uh, pots? Moi, j'ai beaucoup d'argent. We speak English, all right. That sign, it uh, spoils the front of the shed. Hmm? More than a Western Company sign spoils the front of that building. 
The Western Company sign is permanent. You better take yours down. Well, I thought I'd keep it up here till the rendezvous ends. For you, it's ended now. Take it down. Well, I, I don't think my family would like that. Family? I don't see any family. Well, here's my brother, and here's my uncle. They say the sign stays. And they're both faster than you and your pistol. No one sells him anything. Huh? No one! for me. A good price, daughter, but not good enough. It will do no harm to talk. Who? Monsieur Bowie? Howdy, miss. You have permission for Monsieur Legrand to trade here? I don't know, Mr. Legrand. If you stay here, you will. A good price, I am sorry, we cannot sell to you. Oh, these are the best bunch of pelts I've seen yet. Mm. Uh, for you, I'll uh, raise my price a dollar. Perhaps no one has told you, you cannot buy furs from Cajuns. A hundred minks is seven hundred dollars. Your daughter has a good head for figures, sir. We have otters and muskrats, too. Uh, name your price, I'll buy the lot. You'll buy nothing, monsieur. Drive on, Jean, please. But, father, we could pay off our debts. My money's good, I assure you. Keep your money, it is no good to us. Très bon, Jean. Legard will not like it if he sees us talking to this man. I'm not worried what Legard likes or dislikes, sir. I'm sorry, monsieur. Little company, Father. Please. Thank you. Who are they? Paul Bresseur and his daughter Jeanne. She is a better trapper than he is. <laughs> Come, Jeanne. We must go to the blacksmith. Go on, Father. I will join you. She spoke about a debt to her father. What she mean by that? The trappers, they are all in debt to Lagon. He owns the store. Uh, the furs never quite get them even. Ah, bonjour, father. Lagon, take care. And whose soul are you trying to save now? The saving of souls, Monsieur Lagon, is in the hands of heaven. Should you ever come to my church, we could discuss it. You want to grapple with the devil, eh? First this way and then that. Tearing down your sign was much easier. Give him back his sign, Brizac. Voila. It is only because you're a stranger I excuse your ignorance. Put the sign on your mule and go. Well, Mr. Legon, you tear down signs, you break chairs. What else do you do? Cheat these frightened people. Do not try my patience, monsieur. When will your patience be tried? When my back's turned? Your back is not turned now. Have a drink. Sign, you're going to put it back again. Go on, pick it up. Uh, 
This sign will be part of your coffin, boy. Come on. Juan, move. You too. Hurry up. Dan, give it to me. I do not approve of violence. There need be none. If all of us would stand against Legon, perhaps this American could help us. It is an easy thing to say, my child. But when he is gone, who will protect my wife and children? You, Henri? When my house is on fire, where will you be? And you, Louis? Stand together. How can we? The gun can crush us one by one. I'm afraid he's right, Jean. They are cowards. One strong man does what all of you cannot do. I'm going to sell him our furs. <laughs> Father Michel tells me that uh, you're a better trapper than your papa. Well, I have a better reason to be. Yeah? I want to live in New Orleans. Do you think I like these clothes? I want silk and lace. I want to wear furs, not trap. <laughs> you want to trap a husband, huh? Yes. An American husband? Why not? What are you doing? I have sold to Monsieur Bowie. But you cannot put those pearls back on the wagon. If your daughter says so. Jean, tell him you have made a mistake. You do not wish to sell. I do want to sell. I have sold. Fifty dollars Spanish gold slugs. Thirty of them. Oh, look, father. We pay Le Grand what we owe. And we have enough till next rendezvous. No more debts. We're free. No more debts. One more season like this, then I go trapping in New Orleans. That's my prediction. You'll catch very big game, mademoiselle. Yes, mademoiselle. Mm. Monsieur Bowie. Hello, father. Look, prime pelts. The ice is broken. Don't do this. Sell them back, I beg of you. Sell them back? I'm going to buy some more. Monsieur, you are an outsider here. The Kijans know only this land. Trapping furs is their living. Please do not bring harm to these simple people. I'm not bringing harm to them. I'm giving them a good price. And I'm not an outsider, Father. I'm an American. So are you Cajuns. You know that. Why haven't you told them? I have told them. I have reasoned with Legon. From them, silence. From him, laughter. But now it is more serious. But she, she, she came to me. She, she wanted to sell the furs. Sell them back. Let me bring Brazil here with his money. Well. What's the matter with you people? Don't you realize you're free men in a free country? What are you so scared of? You know the man who did this. Name him. Father, you tell him. They all know it was Lagon or one of his men. Yet their tongues are tied. Give this to the girl. She may need it. I'm, I'm in and out of the fur business fast. It wasn't my fault. You heard what the girl said. What do you want me to do, Father? 
What did you want to do, my son? Go home to Opelousas. And that's just what I'm going to do. I didn't say that, monsieur. I said it was my fault. Oh, no, it's not your fault. I came down here, didn't I? I stirred things up, didn't I, just to make a few dollars? All right, then I gotta take the... I mean, I, I've gotta assume the... Uh, the moral responsibility, monsieur. That's it. All right, I take it, I assume it. I don't like to feel like this, but I do, and I want to do something about it. Well, it's nothing to laugh at. But where's that $50 gold slug? The uh, gold slug? The one I picked up in the street. Oh, oh, I did not give it to her yet. Oh. Yeah, here it is. A $50 gold piece. There are probably no others like it in the whole of Louisiana. Oh, yes, there are. There are 29 others. Were they found in your father's pocket? No, they were stolen. So if Legault has them, he'll find it mighty hard to explain how he got them, would he? What difference will it make? No one will dare accuse him. I'll accuse him. Ah, to accuse him is one thing, to convict him another. Mademoiselle, would you be willing to swear that your father had 30 of these? Of course he had them. But would you swear it in court? Yes. Can you ride a fast horse? I can. My horse is back at the church. I want you to take this letter to Captain Marsh in Natchitoches. Yes. He'll know what to do. Your other night, monsieur, it is underneath those papers. Oh, thank you. One more thing, my son. Yeah? I was not laughing at you. It always makes me happy to see him hanging on the side of the angel. I'll keep this for now, mademoiselle. Now, if Legon has the gold, where do you think he'd keep it? I don't know. Does he have a safe or a strong box, anything like that in the store? I never saw one. He wears a belt with pockets. A money belt? He gave us some money from it once. Hmm. Then first thing tomorrow morning, we're going to have to take a look. Come on, Jessica. Come on. That a girl. Howdy. Uh, what's your price on Mick? Ten cents to you. Ten cents? That's kind of low. Can't do better than that. I'm selling. You're not selling here, so keep going. Well, the prime pelts. I paid a high price for them. But I'm uh, willing to take a loss if you pay him gold coin. Boy, I'm a busy man. Get that mule out of here. All right. <clears throat> come on, Jezebel. No, Jezebel, come on. Jezebel. Come on, be a good girl. Jezebel. Uh... It's no good, Jess Bell's in one of her stubborn moods. You can't move her when she's like this. Not even if you have to put a fire under her. Well, while Jezebel's making up her mind, maybe you'd like to take a look at one of these uh, $50 gold slugs. Ever see one of these? If you don't move that mule, I will. <laughs> I wish you would. Brizak, if that mule is here in 10 seconds, shoot it. Oh, Brizak, you wouldn't shoot Jezebel, would you? 
<laughs> Just wait 10 seconds and see, monsieur. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll bet this $50 gold piece that uh, Brissac doesn't shoot. It's a bet. Hmm. All right, you tell him to drop the gun. Go on. Brissac, drop your gun. Take off your shirt, Legal. You take it off. Now I will crack your skull open. Come closer, monsieur. We'll see how expert your knife hand is now. After the buttons, your shirt. I still! The shirt, and then the money belt, and the gold you took from a dead man's body. You will never get it from me, boy. Never! Let me get my hands on you, boy, just once. Not a money belt. Well, now, look at this. It's the gold I gave Brasseur. Only the murderer could have this. Stop him! Get a rope! Let's hang him! Now, wait a minute. There's gonna be no lynch rule here. Come on. On your feet. Here. Father Michel is on his way from Natchitoches with a representative of the law. They may be guilty, but they've got to have a trial. Go on, lock him up. Come on. Listen. Ah, oh, just uh, you beauty. You've earned yourself an extra special feed. I have asked you to assemble here today to meet Captain Marsh. He has something to tell you. The Western Company has been operating in violation of the law. Its claim to an exclusive right to your furs under French charter are false. You have the right as American citizens to sell your furs anywhere you please, to anyone you please. Hey. You don't have to forget your French heritage. It's a great one. Liberty, equality, fraternity. Just another way of saying you're American. Thank you, Captain. I'll be here at your next rendezvous. But if anyone outbids me, you sell to him. <laughs> we do that with you. <laughs> oh, I was almost forgetting. Thirty of them. Fifteen hundred dollars. That ought to take you to New Orleans. Thank you, Monsieur. I'll be going there soon. Good trapping. Mm -hmm. 